हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस केस वेद स्टेटमेंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक यू विल बी यूजिंग इन योर जॉब डे टू डे लाइफ इफ यू आर वर्किंग ऑन सीक्वल बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज लाइक माई वीडियोज हिट द लाइक बटन इफ यू आर रियली लाइकिंग द कंटेंट इट विल रियली मोटिवेट मी टू क्रिएट मोर वीडियोज ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द केस स्टेटमेंट सो केस स्टेटमेंट इज यूज टू गिव सम कंडीशन and based on that condition we can derive some value right it is similar to if else statement if you have worked on excel or any other programming language it works like that so let's let's understand from an example so this is my emp table okay so what i want to do based on the employee age i want to put them into a different bucket right so i will start so case statement with start with case okay and end with end right in between we can write multiple conditions so multiple conditions we can add using when when i will say emp age less than 20 then let's say i am calling them as kids okay okay and then when emp age greater than equal to 20 and emp age less than equal to 40 then adult and then you can give a else else also in that so whatever is not falling into these brackets will go into else okay so else else say uh old okay this is done now if i run this also whatever column is derived from here we can alias it as employee let's say age bracket so if i run this so if you see all the employees between let me sort it by employee age so it will make things clear okay so everyone between 10 to 20 is less than 20 is kids and then between 20 to 40 are adult and anyone older than 40 is old right this is how it works so you can give multiple conditions and in the end you can give else and else is optional what you can do you can put a one more when condition uh greater than 40 then adult this will also work so else is optional so this also works right but this has to be old okay now the one one important thing here is it will check condition from the first condition so first condition it will check first then second it will check and third it will check let's say some of your conditions are falling in both the buckets so let me add one more condition is when a is equal to a is equal to let's say 12 then i want to say baby okay if i run this see age equal to 12 but it is still showing kids because it will first checking this condition so because this condition is satisfying so it is allowing it is assigning kid and it is not checking other condition okay so if i put it on top now it will first check if age equal to 12 then baby So if you see in that case, see now it is correct, right? For employee is twelve, we got baby. So always remember that it will check from the top all the conditions and wherever it matches, it will give the result. Okay. Now we will see a use case of it. So I will just comment it for now. Okay. Let's go back to our EMP table. 
and I have a department table also. So I employees and for each department ID I have a department name as well, right? So what I want to do, I want to give a raise to all the employees on the salary raise based on the department. If they are from analytics department, IT department, HR department, I want to give a different raise, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a join uh, DPT on EMP dot department ID equal to EPT dot okay, and I will get it from here EMP name comma salary comma DEP dot DEP underscore right if I run this dpt test sorry okay so I have this now based on this based on the department name I want to give a this so what I will do I will start writing a case statement case when when department name equal to analytics then salary plus I want to give them 20% raise so 0 0.2 into salary right now when department name equal to IT I want to give them 15% raise and there's one only one more department so I can say else or I can use another when else I want to give them 25% raise okay so this is my and I will end it as new salary right if I run this I have got new salary so for the analytics department we got 20% raise for the IT department 15% raise and for HR department we got 25% raise so this is how we can use case statement very useful you will be using it day to day life every every day you will be using in your job so if it is not clear please let me know in the comments i can give more examples i can create more videos but very important try it practice it and i think if you solve two or three questions it will be clear thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel and like the video thank you